This is a public service announcement. Do not purchase Blood Bowl 3 because the game is not functional. It doesn't bloody work at the moment. It's so bad, even the premium cash shop doesn't work properly. <laughs> If the cash shop doesn't work, oh, you know the state that the rest of the game is in. And I am in genuine shock. I ordered a thumbnail for Blood Bowl 3 because I figured this is a slam dunk. There is no way this could be a disaster. All you need to do is take the UI and all of the gameplay mechanics from Blood Bowl 2, which was a considerable improvement on Blood Bowl 1, up the graphics a little bit and... Dunzo, ship it, and you can sell it for full price for the third time. There was no way to mess this up, except they did. And it can all be traced back to greed, greed, greed. This is absolutely the most faithful Two Games Workshop game ever made, because it is greed, greed, greed. Greed, greed, greed. This is sheer, pure, undiluted avarice. That's what this is. So let me explain to you exactly what's wrong and why the game just doesn't work. So the game has always online DRM, essentially, which means that the game constantly communicates with the server, and I do mean constantly. Even loading a menu requires communications with the server. It takes 10, 20, 30 seconds to even load the main menu. Eventually, I got to the point where I literally could not load the game modes. I sat there for two, three minutes trying to load the campaign screen. I think eventually I was sitting there for five minutes plus, it never loaded. I tried to get a game going with Kyle, because we were going to try it out and test it together. The friend system doesn't work. It can't search for other people. I tried playing against the AI. It too simply didn't load. It, took, it takes minutes to load most of the screens. It takes ages to create a team because, again, everything needs to load. Hell, and... There is zero character customization. Every single player on your team will look identical to the other players, except more well, for the classes. So all linemen will look like linemen, all throwers will look like throwers, because all the customization is microtransactions. All of it. And when you buy a head, you don't unlock that head for all of your characters. No, no, no. You get to put it on one character. And if you want that head again, well... Apparently, you've got to buy it again. Now, bear in mind, I'm taking this on the words of the forums because I couldn't even complete a microtransaction. I tried, and I got an error for it. After, again, seconds of loading, Kibbs managed to actually get into one game, which, okay, I'll show you here. This is Kyle getting into his game. And this, too, is a straight graphical downgrade from 2. All right, I'm going to put Blood Bowl 2 up here alongside Blood Bowl 3. So Blood Bowl 2 on the right and Blood Bowl 2, uh, 3, excuse me, on the left. Like, it's gray. It's boring looking. Like, even the UI and the cards and the dice look worse. I don't know how they managed this. I genuinely don't know. So in addition to being basically non-functional, the game seems to be worse than its predecessor. Yeah, um, I, needlessly to say, uh, refunded the game quite quickly. Because, yeah it doesn't work. And to be fair, this could be fixed if this is if this is purely a connection issue, so that the, all of the servers can be brought up to speed, and it takes just snap, and instantly all of the menus load, that will be a good thing, but the gameplay still looks objectively worse than 2. So even if the menus are fixed, and bearing in mind, the game releases in full, no early access, the game releases tomorrow, this being recorded on the 22nd, yeah, this is an awful early access. This is a straight-up 
I'm gonna go so far as to say scam, honestly, because the game, again, does not actually work. And they are charging a premium for early access to it. Avoid Blood Bowl 3 like the plague until it actually released and you can see some gameplay footage, functional gameplay footage, from somebody you really trust. And, uh, I'll be honest, it probably won't be me because, um, yeah, I think I'm sticking to two, honestly. In fact, I'm planning to get a Blood Bowl tournament going and it was going to be in Blood Bowl 3, I'm thinking it's probably going to be in two, so um, consider yourself warned. Blood Bowl 3 is non-functional. Do not give them the extra money for the early access, and if you happen to have more than two hours in the game, still you can ask for a refund by explaining that the game just doesn't work. Because it don't. Consider yourself uh, duly advised. And thank you all very much for listening. Have a good day.